from the Commonwealth this afternoon. We've got a New England rivalry as the Massachusetts Minutemen take on the UConn Huskies. UMass looking for their fourth win of the season. UConn coming off a victory last week. So after all that, second and eight on the 47-yard line. Play action. Puma Chung again steps up in the pocket. And he gets drilled from behind. He lost the football, and UConn's got it. The Huskies big man, Jelani Stafford, jumps on the fumble. And UMass turns it over on the first drive of the afternoon. Well, the one again, it's this UMass defensive front four that is disruptive. Nice job. And you can see Pumachan didn't do a good job of tucking the football away. Price Yates is the one that knocks it out. And you can see 97, Jelani Stafford. He's jumping on that ball because he wants to run that thing in the end zone. Yeah. Block. Nice job there by Lynch Adams. Now to the near side, oh. it's intercepted, taken away by Bin Wahad to the house. Touchdown, Huskies. That's to keep those points off the board, but the Huskies off of a pick six from Tyson Pumachan. That's a long throw. Mumu Bin Wahad to the house, and the Huskies have an early lead here in Amherst. Not great news for Kaloji. I mentioned he had a great week against Liberty, and now Karon Lynch Adams spins out of a tackle but gets pushed into the pile. And I think he lost the football. UConn says they've got it. A lot of action there twirling, and it will be Huskies football, the third takeaway here in the first quarter. Jackson Mitchell on top of it all. So the spin move from Karon Lynch Adams, and that ball came out before he uh, went down. Boy, that's a nice job. Who was that? It's number 14. Malcolm Bell, the cornerback, yeah. stepped up. Bell. The redshirt sophomore from Quebec. Yeah, Jay Bell came up and knocked that ball right out, and Karon Lynch Adams has been very sure-handed this year. Florida, 31-yard field goal coming for Joe McFadden. He's 5 of 10 on the year and sends this one towards the uprights. It's good. And the Huskies lead 9 to nothing. 11.20 to go in the first half. They are going to snap it. Hand it off to Karon Lynch. Adams not there on the first effort, and he is short at the 45-yard line. It was a long two for UMass to try and gain. And UConn holds Jelani Stafford and the big bodies up front. Yeah. And a field goal on the last possession. UMass will bring pressure in Martin. They'll throw over the middle. It is complete down to the 14-yard line. Big gain here for UConn on a pickup of 19. If you're UConn, you make this kick, you're up 12-0, and you haven't played great. 30-yarder is on its way, and it is good. So a couple of short field goals turned in by McFadden dragged away yeah, that was precedent was set early on those offsetting penalties on the first drive Roberson rolling out now he sees a hole steps up in the pocket and runs and Roberson's got the first down and inside the 30 yard line a scamper for Roberson and a pickup of 14 so yes he had that ACL injury that ended his career last year in week one handoff Edwards cuts back stays on his feet through contact and gets into the secondary as he gets nine all the way out to the 20-yard line on first down. Yeah, on the ground, seven and a half yards per carry last week against Sacred Heart. Again, Edwards. And a little daylight and gets out to the 10-yard line. No punt. Roberson flings it out. Caught by Edwards, and he gets a few. Pushed out of bounds by Rutherford. You got four downs to punch this thing in. Approaching the final minute here in the third quarter. Handoff, Edwards stumbling to the near side. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, Huskies. A 70-yard TD drive. Cam Edwards punches it in from four yards out. Ways to convert. He had a nice run in there from Taquan Roberson. And then there's the handoff to Edwards, who does a nice job of just kind of following the blockers to get to the outside. Even points up great, but more importantly, get that field position. I'll give it to Edwards, patiently waiting, bursts forward, and he's got the first down, still on his feet. And a huge gain for Edwards, a pickup of 20 on first down. Experience. 
And Gravitas in the game, third and five. Roberson to the far side. Jolie is back. He makes the catch and just enough for the first down. The rings. Look at the rings. <laughs> I hold it together nicely. So does Coach Mora to the edge here. Edwards, another jump cut for him and another first down for UConn. This has been a great drive for the Huskies. Just sort of accepting the fate that is happening to them with seven minutes to go. Rosa has checked back into the backfield. And they'll give it to Rosa, and he finds his way right up the middle. Kicker, he would have layered up. You look at him now, he's down there with a tank top. <laughs> Edwards bounces to the outside, gets the edge, gets the first down, and all the way to the nine-yard line, Cam Edwards. They have two more timeouts to try to control the clock, but they get to keep UConn out of the end zone. Edwards is in. Touchdown, Cam Edwards. And the Huskies ice it here in quarter number four. Finishing strong here with a win last week. And then giving the ball to this man here in the final drive. Uh, no one touches Edwards on his way to the end zone. And very much so. And look, I think there's some building blocks on both sides. There were some steps forward and taken by UMass this year. The back-to-back -back wins, getting wins on the road, all that kind of stuff. So there is improvement in the program. And you're right, Jay. You said it during the broadcast that if you had the 6-6 six and six year that you had last year for UConn this year, you would feel very different if you switched the seasons. But nevertheless, you see both Don Brown and Jim Mora talking to each other. I think a lot of respect there. Both defensive guys, both understand the job they have in building FBS independent Northeast programs, and they know it is not going to be easy.